Hi, my name is Laura Fometta, and I'm from Anclo High School. <clears throat> Choices. You have a choice, one choice, and whatever that choice may be, you have to decide to live with the consequences that that choice brings, such as taking a job that pays more, but having to move where that job is located, or not taking the job, staying where you are, but not getting paid as much. While you make these decisions, you have to think about the others in your life and how it will impact them. What you decide always has a choice, or, <laughs> sorry. What you decide always has an outcome, and whether that outcome is good or bad, that's your choice. During Hurricane Katrina, many white middle-class Americans were so puzzled that so many New Orleanians decided to stay despite evacuation orders. Some chose not to stay, <laughs> some chose to stay, and that mistake was on their part, says Michael Cheridoff of Department of Homeland Security. But what people don't realize is that most people who stayed stayed because they had no sources, no resources, such as transportation, funds, and some even had to stay to care for others with no means for escape. You have to look at people's context to understand what they can actually choose. Some choices in life are inevitable, and some aspects in life we cannot choose. See me? I didn't choose to be born with manic depression. Instead, I chose a small, skimpy, stainless steel razor to sol solve my problems because I simply couldn't. My highs can last from days to weeks to months, but so can my lows. I didn't choose to live with it, but I'm choosing to learn how to control my urges. I'm choosing my positives instead of my negatives. Everything you do, think, or say will influence your future and the future of others around you. George Eliot once said, the strongest principle of growth lies in human choice. But with choices come stress and anxiety. I remember the day I had to make the hardest choice I've ever had to make. October 2014, I decided to move from Miami. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> October 2014, I decided to pack my things from Miami and move <laughs> October 2014, I moved from Miami with my mother to holiday with my dad. Lying, stealing, self-mutilation, relying on a substance to get through the day. That was only a fraction of what happened in Miami. But it only happened like that because I chose to live my life like that. I chose the drugs over the people who cared about me. And I chose violence over positivity and compassion. <laughs> I tried so hard to convince myself it was okay that I was living this way. <laughs> There's a lyric that states, you try and numb the pain with alcohol and pills, but it won't repair your trust. You can't stand on two feet with a substance as a crutch. <sighs> Making this choice impacted my mother greatly. She always blamed herself, but really, it was never her fault. It was mine. In the end, this was the best decision I could possibly make because I'm no longer a dishonest, drug-dependent individual. I'm a strong, beautiful woman that will fight for what she wants and will succeed in her future. <laughs> Those we spend our time with influence our character. Spending time with people whose values are in conflict with yours can influence you negatively and can slowly derail you from your chosen path. If your friends drag you down, they're not your friends. Friends impact your life for the better. Friends encourage you while you're on your own path to success. Who you have around you influences you as a person. Just remember, it only takes an idea to turn into a decision that shouldn't have been made. Decisions of what we do now that influence our tomorrows are endless. The important thing to know is that a choice you make for today isn't just a choice for today. It's a choice for tomorrow. But since we're in our present moment now, that means if you don't like where you currently are, if you put your mind to it, we can change our course of direction. And as a result, change our destiny. Thank you.